Good morning, folks. Wanted to start by giving some underground magnetics resources to anyone who did not yet have these. Below the video, you'll find the links to take you right here. We've got the US, the globe, and the poles. I share this every few months so that your independent analyses might be aided. Next, quick Uyen Storm update on our tracking page, which is open access and always has a couple people hanging out there. Last night, we added candidate number seven to the list upon an uptick in solar eruptions, looking for formation or intensification. Starting in the Indian Ocean, where the rainfall measurement mission saw fit to analyze the system we eyed there, we're now officially set on watch. Flow is maintained at least up through the 700 HPA level. That's the cloud tops. The watch is more of a warning south of Mexico. Folks, this is at least a week early for development here. Remember we said middle to end of May? Look at Baja and southern Mexico for development. This one must have caught an earlier flight. Coming down under where we see two lows straddling the nations. New Zealand will still have isolated events this evening, but in the cloud layer you can see that the leading line has begun to crest onto Australia, revealed in the precipitable water overlay as well. In Europe, eyes north of the UK and eyes east of Finland. Those counterclockwise spinning systems are the lows. The North Atlantic low should be warmer on its leading edge cresting onto the land there, but with storms, and the western side of the Russian low taking on the far north of Europe is bringing major cold. It's a much simpler day in the United States. The air converges at the central low and we're going to have those major storms we warned about coming to the central states today. Also, we'll have major snow from the Rockies north across the border. If you didn't catch it two nights ago, our climate extremes warning begins tonight at sunset. Central and upper Midwest tonight, then charging eastward tomorrow. Kicking to space weather where the solar wind continues to calm in density, speed, and plasma temperature. Look at the smooth, calm returning to the sensitive flux. Solar flaring indeed is popping more, but nothing to write home about. High seas and a couple very low M flares don't bode tremendously well for the incoming spots. Folks, either we're going to get one hell of an uptick with these, or the sunspot disappointment will be the nail in the coffin tracking the magnetic weakening of our star en route to grand minimum soon. Coronal holes north and south, the coronal fields blue right in the middle trying to mitigate, not doing a terrible job but unable to completely quash the magnetic effectiveness, especially with the planets set to line up this weekend and into next week. None more important than those happening May 10th with one major heliocentric, one major geocentric, and the Saturn-Earth-Sun lineup which plays both categories. Upticks continued overnight with a near six-pointer on the West Chile rise, followed hours later by another six-pointer in Papua New Guinea. Current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.